we well, we came across <coughs> came across it in the course of looking yeah. for a for a, a place to transfer some film to video. Yeah, it was a, a good Grateful Dead <coughs> commercial we did. We did it in we shot it in Michael Woods' loft. You know? right, and, uh, yeah, all the graphics and stuff. Yeah. And Chemo TV was was down. They weren't o operating. And someone said you could go there and use their VCRs. So that's how we. And then we saw this television station. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there, right for the picking. <laughs> right for the picking. So I remember going in and talking to the owner, uh, and saying, "Look, you need us. You know, we can run your productions." And. Uh, Leon Crosby. Leon Crosby, yeah. yeah. who started the first FM hip station in San Francisco, which was the, for the, in the 60s. Is that KSAN? Is that the right call letter? No, the one before that. KMPX, is that it? Okay, so not, w, not the Pacifica network. So no. this is Zone Station, which yeah. featured the hippie culture? Yeah. And, and the new music? And, and then he sold that and bought a television station and it was down, it wasn't operating, but he was gonna, they were getting it ready to go on. <clears throat> and uh, we were doing a light show, traveling light show, it's a journey to inner outer space. Right. Journey to what? Inner outer space. Slash, inner slash yeah. outer. It was a, an hour uh, show with the quadraphonic sound mm -hmm. and uh, our light show images. And we do a college tour. And I got a phone call from Leon Crosby. Can you come back and take over the production staff? After you had told them, yeah. you told the other guy. After a month, gonna... we were hanging out. Like We were very determined we were going to find a place in that station. So, then, so you planted the seed, and then he called a month later. Yeah. We were on tour, so we came back, and, and we became the production staff. And he was a yeah. director. Of the whole like, programming? No, that was I was program director, director, station manager. Connie was was the lighting, studio lighting, lighting studio and manager, studio, and camera operator, and I was camera operator and engineer. And Clark was a TD and switcher, and I did some switching. And and Steve Bruce became the photographer, and yeah. so he was doing slides. And Margot was. And then we met Pete Marino, <laughs> who was a, a rep for Warner Brothers, and we did a show with him. And gradually later. Pete introduced me to Warner Brothers. I showed them some videos of the things we were doing because we were doing live stereo sound, you know. Live uh, shows are a variety show of all kinds of cultural, ethnic shows, Spanish, Japanese, Portuguese, Italian. Uh, but the light shows of the film are now are on TV. You're the first guys to do that, right? To put that on TV? We did it in Seattle, it in Seattle. In yeah. Seattle. Oh, at that's right. KGO, was it? Uh, no, it's no. Um, uh, Kim TV? K uh, Cairo. 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 Channel 7. With yeah. the orchestra? No, we, we no. did that. The, the, the music was uh, taped. But we well, did. They had live bands. Oh, in right, the studio. right, right. They had yeah. their. Right. Yeah, they had live bands in a, in a blue chroma key studio. We were next door in a small room with a camera on the screen doing the light show there. But and that's 69 or 70. Were, now yeah, it's 70. 74, you're doing yeah. chemo. 70, and 70, and 70, from 70, that show, from that show, I won an Emmy. Yeah, that's right, you won an Emmy show. <laughs> so that was the first multimedia, whatever you call it. I think so, maybe, yeah. 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 But now you're doing a chemo, yeah. and you got your own network, and you yeah. do it all the time. Yeah, we yeah. had... We had an audience out there that yeah. wanted to, and we had all the bands from Warner Brothers free. Mm. And Santana's brother, Jorge, Jorge, Jorge. yeah, yeah. and yeah, Tower of Power, Tower of Power. Yeah. And, uh, they were videotaped for, well, they came in and did shows, some shows live, and also recorded for these record promotional videos. Yeah, uh, then we had to Warner Brothers and, and show them what we were doing. And they said, this is great, you know, and we were cheap. <laughs> and, and so we got contracts to make these promotional videos that were two hours long about? Yeah, upwards of two hours. They were point of purchase promotional things that they put out and, and uh, show their sales for us. And, you know, here's the new releases for the right. year. But at that time, there was no MTV. There was 
no rock and roll. Right. Oh, the Kirshner. Da, da, da Kirshner. Yeah. It was doing something. And we were doing these. So we pioneered the, uh, the video, of, you know, the MTV style, you know. And that's 74, 75. About. Three. 73. 